that is just the rhetoric and you know people are people pearls. are at each other's throats do you see that as a contributing factor in butler which you've already looked at Absolutely. The rhetoric is every day, all day. And as it's directed against President Trump, it's saying oh, that he's a the threat to democracy, that he's going to destroy America. Sure. It's absolutely absurd and it is irresponsible. I agree. And Democrats and people who are speaking in these terms about President Trump need to take responsibility and really think <laughs> about the consequence of using that kind of, of language. Right. Because here we are again. And so in the days immediately after Butler, we heard people accept that that needed to stop, but it didn't last. And right. that today is a day that that needs to be taken seriously. It lasted about a day and a half. It lasted uh, about a day and a half. Thank you very much for joining us live. You see what they're trying to do? They're trying to weaponize this. They're trying to make propaganda of it, just like they did back in July. Democrats, independents, the media, you can't talk about Trump anymore because you can't speak about him anymore because this guy who voted for him, this Trump voter, 2016, this guy who fanboys for Vivek and Tulsi, just like back in July, Trump supporter, this guy right here who's had multiple felonies, been on multiple lists. Had a standoff with the cops in 2002. They said he had weapons of mass destruction. Still don't know what that means, right? Maybe Bush, maybe Bush should have invaded this guy instead of Iraq. Trump voter, weapons of mass destruction, who the Republican Party fights for to be able to still buy guns, just like the one he was carrying. The AK-47 he had on that golf course. Fox News is on here telling you, tone down the rhetoric. Stop being mean to our snowflake candidate. He's had a bad week. Right before this whole thing broke, this is Trump's, this is Trump's true social. He, he yells out, I hate Taylor Swift, right? Tone down the rhetoric. Be nice to him. This is your fault. It's your fault, Democrats, that Republicans are taking shots at, at our candidate. There's two major parties in this country, whether you like it or not. One of those parties, the candidates are out every day, unveiling, going through their policies, how they'll govern. The other candidate is sitting on his golf course, pounding out on his phone, in all caps, all the people he hates. When will we stop the rhetoric? Well, Pearl Clutchers, on this channel, the rhetoric will not be stopping today. I doubt it will be stopping tomorrow. And future forecasts say there's a strong chance of rhetoric. Trump is the new Adolf. Welcome to the Chud Report. I'm your host, MJ. If it's your first time here, you like this video, check out some of the other videos. Give us an upvote. Keep us in the good algorithm. And let's get into it. The assassination of Donald Trump, part D. First and foremost, this is not a conspiracy channel. You're not on Joe Rogan right here, right? The only one I ever got into, the only one we got a little crazy on, a little wild, were when, you know, they said he hid documents, classified documents, in Ivana's casket. But which I have to admit, I still believe to this day. In fact, I'll put that video we made at the end of this. If you don't have no idea what I'm talking about, watch the video I made about it, and you decide. This is not a conspiracy channel. All right, it's not. But this story right here, coming at the time it did. Now look, I'll tell you, I don't believe that the first time they took a shot at Trump, I, I don't think it was staged. It was a white Republican kid who thought Trump was involved with Epstein. It was doing something about it. The premise was not flawed from the kid. The actions were flawed. But this one right here, I'm not going to say it, all right? I'm not going to say it. But just think of the fallout that's been going on since that debate with the Trump campaign. They're eating the dogs. The Trump's performance at the debate was so historically bad. It was so historically bad that Republicans are now using tax dollars, your tax dollars, my tax dollars, to investigate ABC. I wish I was joking. None of, that, none of that comes out. Fortunately, we now have a whistleblower. And I'm going to tell you something, uh, Maria. We're going we're gonna to do what we can to bring a ABC uh, in uh, and, and uh, have them what answer some under questions. Uh, and as well as have this whistleblower and see what's going on as they're trying to tear down the First Amendment. 
I'm glad you mentioned this because Fox News is reaching out to ABC Ooh. for response to that affidavit and uh, this Bill Ackman post Maria about Barfamilla. this whistleblower. We want answers, but Bill Ackman posted this on X. Not Bill Ackman. About an alleged ABC whistleblower affidavit that says how Oh my God! Well, if Bill Ackman posting the it. Debate questions, camera angles, and the fact checking <laughs> of Trump at the debate. Look, I'm not terribly online, so I don't know who Bill Ackman truth is. Truth in media. I expect the whistleblower allegations will be deemed to be true. Ackman also pointed out that ABC News' is David Meir and Lindsey Davis have yet to make any statements on the alleged affidavit. He said, quote, if you are not guilty as alleged, you have guilty no choice of but what? to immediately issue a statement denying the claim. <laughs> they let Trump have the last word on every issue. What ABC was he News guilty of? already denied allegations of collusion between oh the presidential God. debate moderators and the Harris campaign. We know Lindsey Davis is her sorority. Sister. Oh no! But they told the Daily Beast last week, absolutely not. Not Harris a sorority was not given sister. Any questions before the debate? We've reached out to ABC to verify the affidavit and for a statement on these accusations, Congressman. But this affidavit and this whistleblower story is gaining traction. Oh, with Bill Ackman. Oh my God, her sorority sister. I'd like to go through all the people that went to yell with you if you really want to go down a conspiracy hole. But guess what? This is the conspiracy channel. Bill Ackerman, the Republican Congress, this joke of a Congress. I guess, yeah, like I said, Hunter Biden, they don't care about that anymore, right? On to the next one. They're going to investigate ABC for something that we all saw. Now, granted, if you're on this channel, you're probably on the cult. So we probably saw two very different debates. But they're going to investigate ABC to try to figure out why a diminished 78-year-old melted down over crowd sizes. It's literally what started it all. That was the catalyst. Why he melted down over crowd sizes for 70 minutes. And they're going to use our money, our tax dollars, to do it. More of the same with uh, lots of smears from the Democrats calling uh, Trump the next Hitler, a threat scary. to democracy, <laughs> primary scary. spreader of fascism, and scary. an existential danger to the nation. Not a Do smear. you believe that this rhetoric is behind these attempts? This rhetoric led a Trump voter to go after Trump. Sure, Maria Bartolomo, Bartolomo, I don't know what her name is. And also look at that bottom right corner there. The Dow is up again, right? Probably going to break another record again. And I have to I have to assume that's why this is being covered on Fox Business instead of, oh, I don't know, business. And honestly, what happened to this lady, right? She used to, before the Trump administration, she used to be somewhat respectable, I thought. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough close attention to Fox Business because as forementioned, business. Was it the constant pressure to become more extreme on this network, on this Fox News network, to try to stay relevant with all the, the talent, I guess you would call them? Or was it the sheer unescapable sexiness, the sheer sex-in-a-bottle drive of Kevin McCarthy? Kevin McCarthy might have been fired as Speaker of the House, but he sure kept his job of yodeler in the hallway. I mean, according to this, right? Maria's hallway. Democrats and their rhetoric brought us here. School children have been targeted since the debate. Since Trump uttered those words. They're eating the dogs. And you know who didn't take to the airwaves to talk about rhetoric? To talk about toning it down? When there's been literal bomb threats for a week now? Because of Trump? You know who didn't take to the airwaves? The party of life. The party of children. The Christians. You know who didn't take to the airwaves? Maria Barf. Barfalomo. I don't care how you say her name. Or anyone else on Fox News. First, Elon infers that he will rape Taylor Swift. There's no other way to read that because she's not dating Elon Musk. I'm sorry to tell you. All the other people in that cult, in the Elon cult, he doesn't actually look like this. He looks like this. Taylor Swift dates football players. And, and like I said, that hunk Jake Gyllenhaal. So there's only one way to read that tweet. I hate Taylor Swift. That's what their candidate is writing out in all caps. Divisive. Why are the Democrats so divisive? Elon Musk out here just asking questions. Just asking questions to the millions of people on the app he bought and made into a propaganda delivery service. He's just asking questions. 
Why aren't you guys trying to assassinate Biden and Kamala? So, Maria, I'm going to tell you something. And like your time with Kevin McCarthy, it might be hard to swallow. Here on this channel and everywhere I go in between, I will continue to call Donald Trump the next Hitler. I'll continue to call Donald Trump a fascist. And I'll continue to call him a danger to this nation. And no amount of disgruntled MAGA chuds who take shots at him are going to change that. Um, I mean, but for that agent, the grace of God, again, two miracles now and two, two months. miracles. Wow. Somebody's looking out for the former president. That's Congress exactly what the speaker told him. This yeah. is this is a divine intervention here for a higher cause. Oh, but, my um, God. <laughs> well, we look, we look. Someone is looking out for the president. This other guy says divine intervention. God swooped in. In this call, God is protecting Trump out there on the golf course out there on hole five that's what god's doing he's not protecting the school kids in ohio who are living through all this you see that's just not in maga god's bag someone is looking out for the president the guy on fox news says someone's yeah they're called the secret service that's literally who saved him but if you and this other chud want to go down this other lane divine intervention fine sounds good to me sounds good to the taxpayers in this country because if this was divine intervention, if that's what it was and not the Secret Service taking a shot at the guy, why they were a full hole in front of Trump, this wasn't, this wasn't a close call. Calm down your rhetoric. If you think it's actually God that saved him, then let's just get rid of the Secret Service, man. If God's out there slapping away strays and bullets, then let's just go with divine intervention. Let's put this guy's theory to test. This is not a conspiracy channel. But I have to say, and I will say, the only thing that's missing from this is a curtain call. The Chud Report! The comments on that last video about this, right? About Ivana's casket and the possibility that Trump maybe put some of the more incriminating documents in there and maybe other things. I, I don't know. So this show was originally created as a response to right-wing and Russian propaganda using conspiracy theories to plant fascist ideologies directly into the Republican base and its party. So we try not to peddle too much in conspiracy or unconfirmed news, right? But having said all that, that is a lot. That is a lot of pallbearers for what is supposed to be a cremated urn inside. But the coffin looks like it was made of gold, so that might make it heavy. But Donald Trump paid for the coffin, so it's 99% gold spray paint and maybe like 1% a Rudy Goldschlager fart. <laughs> Off with that. Back to Liz Cheney and this historical moment. <sighs> he buried the coffin 10 feet away from the river, making it susceptible to flooding. <sighs> so theoretically, a flood could wash her and any hypothetical items in the coffin along with her. This is Avril Lavigne all over again. I'm gonna need a minute. I can't believe you've done this.